Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Legion. Now, we are on board the Vindicar, guys. I went ahead and did that world quest for Illyria here. Let's go ahead and turn this in. We got two billion artifact power out of it that I've already put toward the Dreadblades. It is a good day for a hunt. The Shadow Guard Dispersion. With Laura defeated and the Void Callers eliminated, the Shadow Guard's dominance over the city has been crippled. If our campaign against the Legion is successful, there could be a future for the creatures living here. Makari Missions. Farewell. Ooh, Terillion has a quest for us now. My faith is my shield. Hindering the Legion War Machine. Shadowblade, I could use your help. The Army of the Light is coordinating an attack on the Spirit Crucible. Terminus and Shaper's rise to cripple the Legion's ability to wage war outside the Antoran Wastes. We do not have enough soldiers to defend our footholds and execute this operation. Will you approach the rogues on our behalf? This gambit could succeed with them fighting by our side, and we can paralyze the Legion war machine. Use the scouting map and complete the mission Gambit in the Wastes. Light forged equipment. Ooh. We didn't come this far to falter now. That sounds interesting. Let's look at the uh, Maka request, though. Hmm. Looks to be more of the same, though. I eh, got a belt there. So some new ones did pop in, but nothing really to write home about. Let's go ahead and take care of this real quick, and I know exactly what we're going to do today, guys. There's not a whole lot to do until... Uh, the Burning Throne unlock, so we may see some missed episodes, but in terms of like my normal schedule. But today, I think we have something fun. Another 2 billion artifact power will get a stasis core crystal. Oh crap. I forgot that uh, I had. I sent some folks out. Fortunately, though. My loyalties are my own. We've got Illyria. Let's talk more action. And Vanessa, and crew of pirates, there we go, easy. And the crew of pirates actually won't uh, lose any health because Valyria is there with them, or Valyra. Excellent. Well, let's go ahead, now that we got our house in order here, other than the normal weekly quests. I think you guys are going to like what we have planned, so I'll see you all in Okramar. Happy Day of the Dead, guys. Now, I'm recording this on a Tuesday morning, so the Day of the Dead is still going on. The little three-day mini-holiday celebrating Dia de los Muertos. And um, I went ahead and I pretty much done everything for this, thing, uh, for this uh, little mini-holiday. It doesn't look like there's anything new. What is it? The Bread of the Dead, Whimsical Skull Mask, which we do want to go ahead and get. I actually like that a little bit, other than Cross turning into no an undead. One. Yoink! There we go. Got the Grim Fandango Mask. And the only thing that I really haven't done for Day of the Dead here is... Because we have our little... We have Manny, our little mini pet. We have got... There's an achievement here for world events. Defeat 20 contenders while wearing a contender's outfit purchased during Day of the Dead. And I got one out of 20. The thing about this is there's not a whole lot of people here this morning, I guess just because it's so early. So maybe I need to head to Dalaran, get on one of the wrestling costumes, and do a little Lucha Libre today. I think that actually might be the best thing to do. So... Let's go ahead... Well, first off, we have really haven't done any uh, thing with Manny. So let's go to our pet journal. And he's still a mighty level one. Hey, how you doing, Manny? Little guy. And let's see what happens. Oh, look at Manny with his slam dancing. Macabre Maraca. Bashes the enemy with a rumba shaker, dealing 32 humanoid damage. And you actually could hear the Maraca. Ooh, it's strong. 
Come on, Manny. I believe in you. Unamas? There you go. Manny has learned Death and Decay. Deals six undead damage to the enemy's active pet every round for nine rounds. Persist through pet swaps. Manny sound looks like he actually has some interesting stuff. Let's see. Death and Decay. Dead Man's Party. Summons a dead man's party causing 19 undead damage. Opponents struck by the party or take double damage for two rounds. Party continues for three rounds. Um, Bone Bite. Siphon Life deals 8 undead damage per round for 3 rounds and heals the user for 8. And Bone Barrage hurls bones at the enemy dealing 58 undead damage. Bones continue to fall on the enemy's current pet dealing 6 undead damage each round for 4 rounds. I think I need to um, upgrade Manny a little bit. I mean, the sombrero could be a pirate hat. He could be part of the crew. You know Barbosa is a Spanish name. You want to join the crew, Manny? Yeah, I think you're gonna I think you're gonna fit in quite nicely. But in the meantime, we'll have Manny follow us around, we'll give Smee a break, and um, I'll see you guys in Dollaran. We'll see if we can find any potential contenders. So I figure the best place to uh, find folk would be here on the on Crossus' landing. Because everyone's either heading into Dollaran or heading here to the Lightforged Beacon. So let's look at our toy collection and we got the blooming rose contenders costume the night demon snowy owl santos sun or purple phantom yeah let's go with the purple phantom <laughs> lucha lucha <laughs> quick punch well let's see here what i could do is just spam trade and see if anyone would like to come into the ring with me. This would actually be a perfect opportunity to open up the Brawlgar Arena for a little bit of PvP on Day of the Dead. Actually have a full, maybe like a wrestling ring. Oh, that would be awesome. Well, let's see if we can find someone. Otherwise, Swindle's going to be running around town in his underwear for a good portion of the day. Well, looks like we have some contenders, guys. I used the group finder and let people know what I was trying to do and ran into Machiavelli and Critzilla. And it looks like they are already in the fray. So. Yo, where are they? Aha! Oh, fellow goblins. <laughs> okay. Well. Let's go ahead and get the purple phantom. Actually, let's do Snowy Owl. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's swamp. Strong sweep. Hey, what are you doing? Ah! I'm getting jobbed out. Owie. Oh, that my cheat death actually procced. Awesome. Okay, it'd been a while since I'd done that. Looks like they've been sparring outside. Actually, it's probably best to go ahead and get the costume on. Gotta wait for the cooldown. Someone said, Rogue. Yo! Hey, it's the Miz! <laughs> How you doing? Yo, Bloomin' Rose, let's... Hey, yeah! Oh no, I didn't heal. <laughs> My bad. I gotta heal before I do that. That, that night demon's got to be too OP. Oh, that's the horse costume. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. 
we'll try Santo's son next. Whew. This is a very big orc lady. <laughs> Huge tracts of land. Alright, Santo's son. Like El Santo. One of the most well-known luchadors. Yo, hiya! <laughs> oh, jump attack. Ooh. Ah! Crit punch. Oh, I like that. Hop around like a little jumping bean. There we go. There's a win. I like it. Let's keep it going. Ooh. People switching over. What's going on? Hey, what are you doing? No DQ. No interference. That's my job. Hmm? Are she actually attacking me with stuff? I guess so. Oh, yep, she is in costume. Oh, it's a battle royal. Ow. Hitting someone or something. <laughs> Come on. Woo. Oh, I'm about to die. Ow. Hey. Interesting. So in terms of well, fortunately, it's been a long match, so I can get everything back. Eat, eat, eat. I think when they're large... Okay. Let's go for it. Let's do... Blooming Rose. Hey, no, I'm busy. Go away. Ta da Oops. Oh, oh. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Oh, I got a win. Huzzah. Yo, come on. Come on. I'm just waiting for someone to get in costume. Unfortunately, you cannot heal at all. I have a ro I have a rose in my mouth. <laughs> awesome. What? It's not good. Oh, they're they're actually dueling, dueling. Not in the ring. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I see. Jump attack. You're trying to swerve me. In your wolf form. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Heal up. I like it. Where are we? On the uh, achievement. 5 out of 20. I'm digging it though. Now, let's go ahead and decline that. We're going to go with Blazing Wings. Hey yeah. <laughs> Getting both. Hey, don't you run from me. He ran from me. 
Oh, look at that. That's a great visual. <laughs> oh, good times. Well, it took me... It was rough. I had that jobber match, but... I came back stronger. Now, come on. And actually, dueling another rogue in this costume would be bad because there's no healing allowed. El Diablo Goblin. Actually, I don't know, with Blazing Angel Wings? I don't know what would be a good name for Swindle Gear in this form. Unfortunately, you can't put the mask... Well, you have the rose in your mouth, so... And it looks like what I'm probably going to have to do is just kind of get into these fights over the course of the rest of the day and see what happens. Can I get in the rocket? Oh yes! We'll just head over here. See if there's anyone in Okramar willing to uh, fight. Puzzle the patient? No. Ogremar's pretty dead these days, unfortunately. Makes me sad. Back in the mask. Come on now. There we are. And I love the blazing wings. It's You get a Dark Moon Fair by doing the uh, ring challenge. Ogremar Nougat. Oh, that's... I still have the Hallow's End uh, thing, don't I? Okay, let's go ahead and abandon that. Otherwise, it'll be forever in my inventory. I do need to start knocking more of these old school quests out. Well, now that we're done with that, maybe... Since I'm not going to spend keep some time hunting, or spend more time hunting for contenders, let's check out our dailies and see if maybe... We've got any pet quests that we can put Manny through his paces. I think that could work out for us. Uh, 169 artifact power. I'm looking for something that's going to automatically... Oh, wow. 873 million artifact power. Have some of these actually increased? I haven't looked at these in such a, in a really long time. Tribal Unification Cloak for 880? It looks like some of these have. Wow. At least some of the, um... The Elite ones. 885 Mythic Woe Bearers Band? Well, that's good. It makes it... It makes you more, want to, uh... Get stuff in here more. Or still do some of the World Quest here in the Broken Isles. Add one level to any battle pet. Flawless training stone. Actually, how much many of those do I have? I have 38 pet charms. Let's head to Dalaran and go to the pet shop and see if we can maybe get some items that'll automatically put Manny up there. Let's see, here in the magical menagerie. Hi. We've got an ultimate battle training stone, that's for 45. And a marked flawless battle stone that'll put it um, up to fifty. Stay away from the voodoo. What level is Manny, or what um, quality? I don't know. I forgot whether he's blue or green. Okay, he's blue, so we don't have to worry about that. We just have to worry about getting him forty-five training stones. And we have 38, so if we can find another quest that just gives those marks, we'll be in good shape. So, there was one up here in High Mountain, wasn't there? Yes, defeat Breda Tenderhide. So, I guess we're heading to High Mountain for the first time in many, many moons, guys. I have wings, unfortunately. They don't work the way I would like them to. So I guess we're going to do this the hard way, and I'll see you guys there. Snowblind Mesa and Summit Crest Base Camp. And looks like our target is right below us. I 
There you are. Now, I don't think we've ever met. That is a very cool looking porcupine, though. We got a flyer. Ooh, a little spirit guide. Okay. Grandmaster Pet Tamer. Let's see what happens. You must have come a long way. Would you like some water? Oh, a pet battle? If you insist. Go in peace. I gotta look at these guys. What we got? We have got an undead. Uh, blah, blah, blah. A elemental. Or no, that's magic. And a flyer. And I'll see how much damage Smee can do. Owie. Rot. Periodically transforms this pet to take damage as if they were undead. Perk up. Good thing we didn't have many. Let's <laughs> lead the cause in his mighty two. And Smee is about to go down, unfortunately. So we've got nothing to take on undead. One more punch ought to do it, though. And he's about to pop back up because he's undead. This is our uh, recon run. And he's about to die. So then he'll send out Quinillo. Oh, don't cry, Mukau. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and forfeit the match. You have to work harder to win. Indeed. So, we shall... Revive the pets, and let me go ahead and do some strategizing to see what team that we need to do. Okay, I think I've got it. Well met. Um, lack actually. Let's go ahead, and we got our little spirit guide. Our gold beetle is an undead killer, and we will rock out. Flank's enemy hits an additional time if the user attacks first, and we actually attack first, so... Ooh. I like it. Drop that defense down some. Looks like we're gonna go 1-1 one, one with the little spirit guide here. Potentially. Uno mas. Ooh. Well, he still gets hit with the... He still gets hit with the stuff, so... Oh, no, he doesn't. Crap. Flamethrower? Down he goes. Up he goes. More flamethrowers. Like so. Down he goes. Now he'll throw out the porcupine. Owie! You are not a nice person. And looks like we're all taking damage. And that's strong. And we are about to die. Hmm. Go forth, Long Tom. Screeching gears. That's pretty much all that we can do at the moment. Um, we'll throw a landmine down. For nine rounds. And this is bad. Oh, it stunned him. 
And landmines just went off. I did not expect him to actually switch. Now I've got a little bit, uh, ooh. I'm actually faster. Down they go. Don't call it a comeback. Been here for years. Oh, he has a heal. No. However, Long Tom pops right back up. Zot. Woo, what a fight. Okay. And it looks like we have some people who are actually going to uh, do some lucha fights. But I need to head to Dalaran and uh, get that charm. And then Manny will be up to level 25. So I'll see you guys in a sec. And there we go, guys. Vientos found two trolls who were willing to go ahead and jump in. Um, actually, what we've been doing is we've been taking the buff and... Uh, then we've been waiting to get that person's costume up and then they would kill the two of us and we just kind of go in a circle like that because that was going to take forever otherwise. And it's very rare to find people willing to do this holiday. Um, we were talking and you think it'd be really cool to go ahead and do like a championship belt transmog for this holiday. Some Lucha Libre type stuff. I could represent um, Las Ingobernables de Azeroth. I guess, for lack of a better term. I think that would be fun. And um, maybe put a wrestling ring in Brawlgar Arena. There's a lot of stuff that they could do um, to make this little mini holiday pretty awesome, I think. But I'm going to go ahead and get back in costume until these guys are done. And since we're just kind of sitting here, helping these guys out, we're going to go and summon Manny. Our macabre marionette, the newest member of the crew. I'm going to go ahead and summon him, and we're going to use our ultimate battle training stone. Oh, holy crap. Raise a pet of every family to level 10? Nice. I did not know that, he, that Undead was the last one I had to do. So, good times there. And I guess we're, I'm just waiting to get leg sweeped or something. So I'll tell you what, we will go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed it. <laughs> Who's next? Not me. I got, I got it. <laughs> so um, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And uh, we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone. Ow.